Okay, yesterday I showed you how to make dandelion tea. Today I'm going to show you how to make dandelion jelly. You make it out of the tea, except when you make the tea, with the flowers in it, you let it set overnight so that it makes good strong tea. This is the tea, and as you can see, it's a lot stronger than yesterday, because yesterday we was making it drink, although this is good to drink too. It's really good if you like it a little stronger. So you get three cups of dandelion tea, you pour it in a pan, and you get two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then you get one box of pectin, and I like the, the powdered pectin better than I do the liquid because with the liquid you need a lot more sugar and you already need a ton of sugar in it so you don't want to add more sugar. So I buy my pectin like this. Six tablespoons of this equals one box of regular pectin. So you put six tablespoons of pectin in here. And then you, stir, you turn on the burner and you let this boil. And we'll be back at you when it boils to show you the rest of the stuff to do. Okay, this is starting to boil. So now we add four and a half cups of sugar. You stir that good. And you let this boil for two minutes once it starts boiling again. It doesn't really take very long uh, to get the tea and the pectin and the juice. It took about three minutes to boil. And this should only take a few minutes. You stir it so that the jelly gets, or the sugar gets all melted in there. It only take a few minutes for it to boil, and then, like I said, you let it boil for two minutes. Okay, the jelly is ready to put in jars now. That only took about three minutes. Get your big mouth funnel, put it there, and you put it in the jars. It's very thin, but as everybody knows with jelly, it thickens up as it sets. Then you put the top on it. Well, you don't have to water bath this. What you do is you set it upside down for a few minutes. Just set it upside down. And then I'm going to continue with the other ones while that's upside down. Then when we're all done, we just flip this up. And after a few minutes, you'll hear a pop and it'll be sealed. Then you got jelly. Uh, a lot of people say it tastes a little bit like honey. So if you like honey, you'll really like this. So, okay, thank you for watching. And watch our other videos. We have a video on dandelion wine. And, of course, we have the tea. We have other videos out there, too. So just look up all our videos. And here is the recipe. And this is what the jelly looks like after it sets. See, it gets really, really thick. It's really good. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, this here recipe made four of the large jelly jars full. Okay, we'll make it and really enjoy it. And it's delicious on pancakes.